We're going to go try to find the location where they had the shootings. And right now we're on we're on Main Street that we're coming down through, so making our way up towards campus. His man hanging out. Got some of the university buildings off to the left. Kent State. Kent State Water Tower. I believe we cut down through here. And here we have one of the plaques at the top of Commons Law and Order and Descent. And it said, Bearing rifles students did not know were loaded. Guardsmen advanced towards the crowd. People walked or ran ahead. Troops fired tear gas, which dissipated in the wind and open area. At about 12.10 a.m., the rally on the commons was dispersed, but the guard continued marching. And then we're parked behind the building. We gotta go to the other side. Right over here is where the shootings took place. So, down along the hill. So they went up the hill, up through there. So, do a quick 360 around here. Doing all right, Giz? Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna hop back in and head up the other side. And we should be able to follow this all the way around to Prentice Hall. And that is where the memorial is for the four students. Right up here. May 4th memorial site. So it'll be up over here. So let's go check it out. These locations right here, these light poles are the locations where the students were shot. There were four of them. So there's one and they were in this parking lot and they obviously have them memorialized. And there's another one. Yeah, May 4th, 1970, there's the sign right there. And then we'll park and we'll hop out and do a quick walk through here. All right.
so whether I agree or not with all of the protest, clearly this is America, it's a First Amendment right. Let's take a look. Kent State University, May 4th, 1970. In 1968, Richard Nixon won the presidency partly based on a campaign promise to end the Vietnam War. Though the war seemed to be winding down, on April 30th, 1970, Nixon announced the invasion of Cambodia, triggering protests across college campuses. On Friday, May 1st, an anti-war rally was held at the Commons at Kent State University. Protesters called for another rally to be held on Monday, May 4th. Disturbances in downtown Kent that night caused city officials to ask Governor James Rhodes to send the Ohio National Guard to maintain order. Troops put on alert Saturday afternoon were called to campus Saturday evening after an ROTC building was set on fire. Sunday morning in a press conference that was also broadcast, the troops on campus, to the troops on campus, Rhodes vowed to eradicate the problem of protests at Kent State University. Kind of hard for you to see this, but I'll do my best. On May 4th, 1970, Kent State students protested on the commons against the U.S. invasion of Cambodia and the presence of the Ohio National Guard called to campus to quell demonstrations. Guardsmen advanced, driving students past Taylor Hall. A small group of protesters taunted the guard from Prentice Hall parking lot. The guard marched back to the pagoda, where members of Company A, 145th Infantry, and Troop G, 107th Armored Cavalry, turned and fired 61 to 67 shots during 13 seconds. Four students were killed. Allison Krauss, Jeffrey Miller, Sandra Schauer, and William Schroeder. Nine students were wounded. Alan Canfora, John Cleary, Thomas Grace, Dean Kaler, Joseph Lewis, D. Scott McKenzie, James Russell, Robert Stamps, and Douglas Rentmore. Those shots were 20 to 245 yards away from the guard. The report of the President's Commission on Campus Unrest concluded that the shootings were unnecessary, unwarranted, and inexcusable. Well, there you have that opinion. So, it is what it is. It's history. Check on the Mr. Gizmoto. So we'll take a walk down here and they would have came up over this hill. We were just on the back side of that hill before. Well, for the students that live in this hall, it's a reminder, that's for sure. May 4th, 1970, I don't want to step in out of respect, May 4th, 1970, and this would have been, looks like it says Jeffrey Miller, I'll kind of stand back over here, you can see this. So this is the Kent State Memorials for those four students that were wounded on that day and then the other ones are down here see one there and then the other two were over here so again they came up over that hill and were shot in this parking lot so very tragic incident regardless of anyone's political ideology I don't think we need to be going out and shooting and killing but it's very unfortunate. But 1970, this is 2024. So that was uh, 54 years ago, right? Yeah, because I just turned 55. I was born in 69. Wow. So if those students were 18 to 20, you know, they'd be. 72 to 74 years old right now another one anyhow we're gonna get going hope you enjoyed your trip through campus bye-bye